Welcome back to another episode on the Maros Film Channel. Today we have a new interesting lens from the brand Astrihori. And this is a macro 2.8 85mm tilt shift lens. I got sent this lens to check it out and to make a review, so I will be sharing my experience while I was using it. Ok, so first things noted. This is a tilt shift lens, also called a perspective control lens, and it's changing the position of a lens in relation to a camera image sensor. When the lens tilts so it is not longer parallel to the camera image sensor, it shifts the plane of focus and alters the depth of field allowing you to make photos from what appear to be a different vantage point without moving the camera body. Also, you can rotate, tilt, shifted to get different perspectives. Ok, so let's get to the physical aspect of this lens. The macro lens is constructed out of 11 elements in 8 groups, including the two extra low dispersion elements. It uses a 12 blade aperture diagram. It has a minimum focusing distance of 28 cm from the sensor, so it's actually around 10 cm from the actual lens and to the actual object of filming. In front you'll find a 55mm filter thread. The complete build of the lens is made out of metal, with a standard plastic cap on top. Estrihori made actually a great design with this box presentation. The lens rotates a full 360 degrees, and it has a tilt angle of plus minus 8 degrees. The tilting of the lens is done via a knob with marked points so you'll know how many degrees the lens is tilted. Rotation is done on the rear of the lens via a dedicated ring that clicks every 30 degrees. Being a full manual lens, this lens doesn't transfer any kind of active data to the camera, and I will suggest to use focus picking on your mirrorless for the best focus achievement. Cause you know you can really miss focus if you're kinda trying to catch a fast moving sun going towards you. So yes, I would actually always recommend to use focus picking and shoot mostly static objects. When using the full tilt function, I recommend it to use in your APS-C mode if you're using a full frame camera just like my Sony A7 III. Because this lens is actually designed for the APS-C sensor, and while tilted you will be getting vignetting in the corners, so for the tilt shape function use the APS-C mode. When not tilted, this lens is actually able to cover a full frame sensor of my Sony a7 III. This lens has also good capable macro options, and you will be able to get pretty good results if you light up the scene. Wide open, this lens will be kind of softy looking, as I am actually using a vintage lens. The lens flares aren't so much that of a problem, but would like to have an included lens hood. You have a lot of visible fringing and CA at wide open shots, but yes, you have to understand that this lens is just $329, and some kind of cost saving decisions had to be made to actually make this lens really affordable to anyone that's starting with a tilt shift macro lens. Stopping down a bit, you'll be able to achieve more acceptable lower CA and fringing, and I would recommend shooting with it once the sun has got that golden hour shine. This lens is mostly not designed for your video work, but yes, you can make it work pretty damn good. And this is the look of the Astrihori 2.8 macro tilt shift lens when not used in macro mode, but just at full frame mode without any tilt function. So now my colleague will switch this mode to the tilt shift option. Ok, so now my colleague is actually using the tilt shift function and actually changing the plane of focus on my face and getting a different perspective. Well, this lens is not designed for that, but yes, this is actually the look that you will get. And actually you can see the vignetting out of the corners, cause this lens is designed for the APS-C sensor when used in tilt shift mode. The front aperture ring is kind of stiff to rotate, but that's actually a good thing. You don't want to bump up over your aperture if you didn't intend to do so. 
If you are in the market for a tilt shift 85mm macro lens, this could be your starter budget option. The first link in the description will guide you straight to your buying site for this lens. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below, I will be happy to answer to all of them. Until my next one, thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe with the bearing icon to get notified every time I make a new video and see you on my next one.